What up, y'all? It's your homeboy, Justin. We back in the bathroom once again. I hope you guys enjoyed the last, like, trilogy of videos with my three-year lock anniversary. I still can't believe I actually made three years. We're actually kind of getting close. Well, I'd say we. I, I'm getting close to my hair actually being four years old in terms of how long I've been letting it grow out. I started back in, I think, October of 2012 so we getting close to that thing point too but this ain't about that a lot of y'all have been asking me on youtube and on my instagram on what i use in my hair for my hair to grow and for my locks to grow so i'm just gonna talk about that today so let's get into this so people was just y'all was hitting me up on Instagram, on the YouTubes, on the on different videos, and y'all was just writing like, "What are you using your hair? How do your locks grow so fast? What are you doing? What products should I use?" And I'm gonna share those with you because a lot of people been asking. So this is for you out there. So first, obviously coconut oil. Um, what I use. Ooh, this jar is kind of leak, kind of greasy. What I use is Simple Truth Organic. This is what they have in my store over here, but it's virgin coconut oil and it's cold pressed and unrefined. Um, I've heard and I've read research that this is the best stuff you want to get. You want to get cold pressed and unrefined. You don't want the refined stuff that takes out some of the good properties, the things that'll help out with your hair and your locks, especially. Um, it's also all natural. It's organic, like it said on the label. So this is definitely a staple that you want to have in your I was gonna say pantry, in your hair cabinet, in your medicine cabinet, or in your bathroom, whatever you use it. Definitely use this on your locks. I mean, it seals in, locks in the moisture, keeps your hair shiny, helps your locks and your, help your locks grow stronger, and it also helps with your roots too, so that's good. Um, second thing I use is um, Jamaican black castor oil. Um, Again, I've said this before, I think in another video, but you want to make sure you get black castor oil. Um, the black, they call it black castor oil because of the ash from the castor seed when they um, roast it and when they make the oil. And the ash has more properties or more healthy properties for your hair and your scalp. So this bottle, guys, see, this bottle say revitalizes hair and skin, helps restore moisture, great for massages. <laughs> Hot oil treatment and natural ingredients. So, I mean, this stuff is good for your hair. Use it. Also, um, if you're having any type of receding hairlines, if you have any traction alopecia, which is not necessarily an issue for most people, but if you've, let's say you've put in a lot of um, hair into your hair, or like say you don't have locks and you've been doing um, just lots of cornrows or weaves or just things where your hair has been pulling and you just have lost your hairline. If someone has snatched your edges from you, basically, if, be, if like, this stuff is going to help your edges come back to life. This stuff right here. Use it, okay? Seriously. Um, it's not going to make hair grow where there aren't hair follicles already. But if your hair is thinning, this is going to help kind of re... Like, kind of, it's kind of like a... Um, like when you get a car a jump, it's going to jumpstart your hair in those areas where it's thinning or where it's kind of lost a little bit of fullness. And it's going to help bring that stuff back. Now that's not going to happen overnight. You know, it's going to happen over like, I've seen pictures of people where it's come back for like six months to a year, as long as it's taken for their hairline to come back fully. Um, as you can see, I have my hairline because I, I ain't trying to, I ain't letting nobody mess with my edges. So <laughs> definitely use Jamaican black castor oil for just edge control um, and just for overall health of your locks. And that helps, to, you know, it just, the more, it's like, it's like when you build, a, not build it, it's like when you plant a seed or a tree or something, you want to give it the best soil, you want to water it daily, you want to give it as much sun as it needs, some plants need more sun than others, so definitely listen to your hair, listen to your locks. Sometimes you may not need to use as much moisture, sometimes you need to use more than what I do or, than, or what other lock people do. Um, so you definitely have to make sure that you're doing what's right for your individual hair. Experiment with it, okay? So test it out for a week, see or a month, and see if it's working. If you're seeing good results, keep it. If not, try something else, okay? There's lots of different ways to have locks that are healthy and shiny and soft and luscious. So that's how it works for you. Um, the last thing that I've been doing, this isn't necessarily um, a mandatory thing. The other two things I definitely use on a daily basis, but this, 
is more something I just added in the last month or two. And this is eucalyptus oil. Now it's not pure eucalyptus oil. If it was pure, you would want to, um, what's the word? You want to diffuse it with a carrier oil such as coconut oil or olive oil. Um, but this is just um, eucalyptus oil that's been um, mixed with other essential oils as well. And I like this one because it has other good oils for you like almond oil, argan, jojoba, um, coconut, olive, and eucalyptus oil. So this is definitely something good. Just a few drops of this I put in my palm. It's got a eucalyptus and also like a minty scent to it. So that's really good too because you don't want your locks smelling nasty. I mean, you should be washing your locks anyway, but you want them to smell nice, throw the essential oil in there. Maybe you want to use lavender. Maybe you want to do um, like rosemary or thyme. I don't know if you want more of a woody scent in your hair. It depends on what you want. Again, it's your hair. You know, moisturize it how you want to. Add scents and aromas the way you want to. Do all what you need, okay? Um, but those are the three main things. I mean, that's really all I put in my hair. For all, in all honesty, like on a daily basis, just those three things. Coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and a eucalyptus oil that's been mixed with um, different type of essential oils. But that's it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. We can talk about hair, we can talk about life, we can talk about anything. I will probably, I most likely respond to almost every comment anyway. And if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Click the button right below this video or above or wherever it is on your, on whatever type of platform you're watching this, on a tablet, a phone, a computer, I don't know what. Um, but yeah, just subscribe, okay? These videos are coming every Monday-ish, so stay tuned for more videos, okay? And until next time, I will see y'all when I see y'all, and peace.